In this circuit, we are going to find the impedance, the angle, the current, the voltages um, across each of the and the voltages across each of the components. So for the circuit, we have a time varying signal. The voltage is 24 volts. The frequency is 50 hertz. And we have a, an inductor and a resistor. So my inductor is 10.3 Henry's and my resistor is 5K, 5 kilo ohms. Um, and I'm going to find Z, theta, I, VL, and VR. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find the reactants. So XL is equal to 2 pi F times L. So XL is equal to 2 times pi times 50 hertz times 10.3 Henry. Plugging those numbers in, we get XL is equal to 3,236 ohms, and the angle is 90 degrees. So we've got our phaser. This is our R. This is our XL. And this is our Z. This is our theta. So our theta, tan theta, is equal to XL over R. Right, because it's opposite over adjacent. So theta is equal to tan inverse of XL over R. So theta is equal to tan inverse of 3236 over 5000. And theta then is equal to 33 degrees. So now we're going to find the um, magnitude of the impedance, Z is equal to R squared plus XL squared square root. So Z is equal to 5,000 squared plus 32, 3236 squared square root. So my Z is equal to 5,000 956 ohms and the angle is 33 degrees. So my current I is equal to um, V over Z. So that's going to be 24 volts at zero degrees over 5956 ohms at 33 degrees. So my I then is equal to four milliamps at 33, negative 33 degrees. And so now we want to find the voltage drops across each of the elements. So we're going to create a table. Let's make the table over here. So I'm going to have R, XL, and total. And this is going to be my voltage, um, which now that we're doing AC circuits, we usually write as um, EMF. And so this is in volts. So this is really my voltage. So this is voltage. Um, this is going to be my current I, and we're going to um, use milliamps. And this is going to be my Z, and this is going to be in ohms. So there are a few things we can fill in right away. We know that R is equal to 5,000 and zero degrees, and XL is equal to 32, uh, 36, and 90 degrees. Uh, and we know that our total Z is 5,956, and that's 33 degrees. My current is the same. It's a series circuit, so it's the same for all of the uh, elements for R, X, and for the resistor and for the inductor. And this is going to be 4 milliamps and negative 33 degrees. 4 milliamps and negative 33 degrees. And 4 milliamps and negative 33 degrees. Okay, so if we want to figure out the voltage um, drop across R, we're just going to say R, or the Sorry, um, E. 
sub r. So remember, this is voltage. Voltage is equal to I times R or I times Z. Um, so we're going to have 4 milliamps, uh, milliamps times 5,000 ohms, and that's going to equal 20 volts. And what we do is we um, are adding the 0 and the negative 33, so we get a negative 33 degrees. So what I did is I multiplied these two together, right, to get E. So this is going to be 20 and negative 33. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to multiply the Z and the I together to get my E sub L. It's going to be I times Z. And that's going to equal 4 milliamps. Um, so notice here when I did the um, 4 milliamps times 5K, the milliamps, this uh, was negative 33 degrees, right? So negative 33 degrees over here. So 33 degrees um, times 32, 36 ohms, and this is going to be 90 degrees. So when you multiply these numbers through, you're just adding the angles. So I get this is going to equal 13 volts. And um, when I add 90 and negative 33, I get a positive 57 degrees. So this is going to be 13 and 57 degrees. And then um, my last one, so my e total, we know this is going to be 24 and zero degrees. And we can just check that. Um, we could um, just take and multiply these through here. So we, E total is equal to four milliamps um, at negative 33 degrees times 59.56 at 33 degrees. And so when I multiply that through, if I kept all of my decimal places, I would get 24 because this looks like just 6,000 times um, 0 0.004, and that's about 24. And then when I add negative 33 and 3, I get 0 degrees. So that checks out. Um, and so that's how I can find the voltage value, the voltage drops across each of my um, components, my resistor and my um, inductor. And I can just double check to make sure that it works. So the total um, voltage should be the same as my source voltage. Um, that I'm given in the problem here.